So, this is uh, part two of bank holiday boating. This is the bit where we actually go boating instead of just sitting and watching other people go past. And as it said at the start, uh, there are um, there's a forest fire, uh, there's a majestic bird, and there's a huge guillotine to look forward to. So I hope you'll stick with it. So we're just leaving the marina here. Um, heading down the Stainford Kidby Canal at Thorn. Um, absolutely beautiful day. Um, this was about 8.30 in the morning um, and it was it was quite warm even then, um, but it, it does get quite a bit warmer. Um, so as I said, there's, there's lots to see and every now and again, I'll chip in and tell you what's happening. Uh, this pipe bridge here I um, remember from being a child I grew up in Thorn um, and though it fills me with horror now and please don't try this at home when we were kids we used to climb up on this bridge on really hot days and jump into the canal not recommended at all but you don't realize when you're kids do you Now this um, pipe bridge coming up um, is just as we're getting into Stainforth um, and as you look on the left there there used to be um, many years ago before my time uh, there used to be um, a, a sort of a wharf uh, where boats would come up and take the coal from Hatfield Main Colliery and take it off down the canal but that has long long since been disused and there's no trace of it now. This is now um, just heading out of Stainforth towards Bramath and in summer, well in, in any season but particularly in spring and summer. Um, this is a really lovely stretch of canal, there's the occasional little canal side cottage um, and just beautiful trees and bushes all the way. over to the right of the canal you can see that it's um, banked up at the side that's because on the other side of the bank is the river Don which runs parallel to the canal at this point um, and this is Bramath Bridge it's a it's a swing bridge but it is automated so it's just a case of putting your key in and, and pressing the buttons um, it can be uh, quite a well-used 
road. I mean, it's not a main road by any stretch, but it is quite well used. You can get a little bit annoyed when you open the bridge and hold them up for a while, especially as, like today, there are three boats to get through. Oh well, never mind. Now at this point we have just gone through Bramath Lock, which I didn't film. I have filmed it before if you want to look back to uh, the earlier videos. But this is the junction um, where if you go off to the left you're on the Don Navigation heading towards Doncaster and Sheffield. Uh, we're going right today which takes you on to the New Junction Canal. Um, the New Junction Canal is, as the name, name would suggest, fairly new in canal terms it was actually only opened in 1905 um, and because of that and because of the mechanization that was available in its construction it is five and a half miles of arrow straight canal there is not a kink or a bend in it anywhere but there are still some interesting things to see along the way now we're actually more up uh, just on the left down here um, for a bacon butty as we've been going quite some time so uh, that's always welcome and as you can see in front and here we can see it closer when we moored up we had a walk up to the Don Aqueduct uh, quite a large structure as you can see and it's, uh, it's an aqueduct that takes the canal over the River Don um, and those two gates are floodgates so that if the Don is in flood they can put the gates down and it won't impact on the canal um, and the canal does run off over the sides down into the Don so it's quite an impressive sight um, and actually something I was looking forward to because we haven't been over it before. So as you get up closer in a boat, um, it's quite an awe-inspiring sight. Um, as I said earlier, those um, gates only ever come down if the Don is in flood. Obviously it isn't today, so we're absolutely fine. And as you go over, it looks as if on the left-hand side there's a really decent sort of barrier. But on the right-hand side, there's just a tiny little fence to stop you flowing over the edge into the Don. Obviously, in reality, it's not like that. You're in a big trough, uh, so you're not going to go over the edge, and it does afford you a very good view over that side. Um, so, it's I really enjoy going over this. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's really nice to be able to look down the river, um, and an odd experience to see your boat shoving the canal over the side down into the river. Um, but definitely. Um, you know, something to come and see if you haven't been this way before.
Kaya... Here you can see we are approaching um, Psych House Junction. Um, along this stretch behind us and in front of us, there's quite a number of lift bridges and swing bridges that you have to get off and do. Um, but Psych House Lock is usually, uh, if it's sort of busy periods, it's, it's manned. Um, but if it isn't, um, it can be operated with a CRT key um, but there's a swing bridge manual push swing bridge in the middle um, and the lock will not operate until the swing bridge is opened um, it's a very large lock because it's um, made to accommodate commercial vehicles if any of you have sort of been on this section before you may have seen the Exol Pride that comes down here which is absolutely enormous um, so it's, it's to accommodate those sort of ships um, that it has to be so large um, when we went through this way uh, we went through with two other um, boats on the way back we come through it um, on our own and as I say there's, there's three of us going down this time but it's all being operated by CRT volunteers, so that's fabulous. So the fencing that you can see on the right hand side there is actually the swing bridge that I talked about that has to be opened um, before the lock can be operated. We fished your water bottle out with net. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she seems quite keen to get it back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Away. <laughs> So in front is uh, one of the many bridges that I talked about. This one's a swing bridge. Um, and from the um, warning siren, you can hear that somebody is operating that one. So we should be able to just go straight through it.
just after we go through this uh, swing bridge. Here comes the majestic bird. And there he goes, just caught him flying from one bank to the other. A lovely heaven. Right, we're now just coming to um, the Went Aqueduct, which is very near the end of the New Junction Canal. Um, from there it goes out onto the air and colder. Um, but we're actually going to turn the boat here and just moor up here uh, for the night rather than uh, going over the aqueduct because we'll be heading back home in the morning we've only got two days out of them but, you know at this time so this is where we uh, moor up for the night and we are just about to take a little walk and see what's uh, further up at the aqueduct and stuff while out walking though we came across this um three lads had been having a, a barbecue they'd driven off about five minutes before we went past so they must have known this was a light obviously not great so before we walked up here um I called the fire brigade and then we walked up to have a look and this is the um, Went Aqueduct. Um, go, as its name implies it goes over the river Went um, and it's um, what connects basically connects the canal to the air and colder navigation. So we had a wander over, um, that's just uh, sort of down, down the edge um, and we're coming up to the, the river in a minute you'll see, um, in fact you can see it now the river running underneath it um, and then at the end um, there is a, a large reservoir on the other side of the Air and Calder. Um, where there is um, sailing and stuff. You can go and watch the, the sailing boats, which is exactly what we're doing. So here we are right at the end, as you can see, the sign says the air and colder navigation. Uh, so that way up there is to Goal. Um, and beyond there, you can, you can get on to the Ouse and up to York and Ripon. Um, and in the other direction, it takes you to Wakefield and Leeds um, and sort of onto the Leeds Liverpool. So you can obviously get further on from there. And you might just see in the distance, you can see some sails behind the, the trees and stuff. That's where the um, reservoir is, uh, where they do the sailing and stuff. So... Uh, it's a lovely area and you can actually run more right up to this edge. So when we went back, we went to have a look if the fire brigade had arrived and they hadn't. The fire had spread, though it was quite a bit worse. And as we looked down the track, we could see the fire engine in the distance. They'd not come far enough down the track. So Neil went down, got them. They did actually then come up um, and within about half an hour, they had all the fire put out. Uh, and they left so thank goodness we managed to see that so while we were out we also saw some great wildlife amongst which we saw um, a heron that's the one that i actually filmed later flying across um, this was a grebe there was a couple but i didn't manage to get two in the picture together um, obviously lots of ducks swans geese um, we saw these there were a couple of swallows up on the wire just above uh, Psych House Lock and lots and lots of little baby ducklings. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks for joining me. Um, please give us a like um, and do subscribe. It makes a difference. Um, and I'll see you next time.